Hi everyone, this is Cassie with Cassie Clacial Photography. Yesterday I did a quick um, editing newborn tutorial on Adobe Firefly's new tool that is launched in Photoshop beta that everyone is playing with this weekend. Um, but today and last night there were a ton of posts that were full of false information and even just some assumptions. Um, they were done. Um, with the right intentions and I'm glad that people are questioning things and talking about copyright but I just wanted to help and clarify some things so I actually spoke with someone at Adobe today um, and I wanted to share that information as long as as, as well as some additional information about Photoshop with you guys to help clear some of that up. So just to clarify, there are a couple different kinds of AI that are floating around that photographers are playing with right now. One is Midjourney, another one is Doll E. Um, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but um, those are some that have been out for quite a while. They source their images that they use to create artwork and photos um, or images with. They're sourcing that from the whole entire internet, including copywritten images, there are currently a ton of lawsuits going on. Lawmakers are looking into this. Um, if your image is on the internet, it is probably sourcing things from your photos. That is definitely something to keep an eye on. Adobe Photoshop has done something really great with this new tool. They are committed to doing this ethically, and they are actually sourcing their images from Adobe Stock, which has been around since 2005. It's not anything new. It's something that we have always had access to. Um, I don't know if a ton of us are using it or have been using it in the past, but that's where it's pulling it from. It has always had this giant catalog of stock photos and it's pulling it from there, um, which is part of why the results that we're getting are a lot different than you're seeing from Midjourney and other AI programs. So Adobe Firefly is what is new with Adobe Photoshop. It's Adobe Firefly is basically a new family of AI tools that are coming to Adobe Photoshop. You can trial all of these new, not all of them, I'm sorry. You can trial some of these new features um, or a bunch of these new features in Photoshop beta and on Adobe Firefly online on the web version. One thing that a lot of photographers have been playing with this weekend is just a tool. It's not a robot. It's not some sentient thing that is creating artwork on its own and thinking and being creative. It's just a tool. It's really kind of like content aware on steroids and crack. Um, and a lot of the components of this new, new tool are not necessarily new. We've had content aware for a long time. We've had Adobe stock for a long time. We have had, um, the ability to fill an image for a while now. Um, it's just a lot smarter and a lot better and it's a lot more intuitive. And now it can look at your photo, which it's calling input. It can look at your photo that you have open in Photoshop beta and assess the photo. It can look at where the light is coming from, what the tone of the image is. Um, in some cases, it even will look at the depth of field of your photo. I'm noticing in some of my photos it's doing a really great job of catching the depth of field and in some it's not. Um, but again, it's just a computer tool. Um, it's not going to be perfect all the time, but it's just that. It's just a tool. Um, and so a lot of people, and I'm, I'm bringing that up because a lot of people are upset about the terms and conditions. Um, there are people out there posting screenshots of the terms and conditions saying if you use Adobe Photoshop beta and you use this generative fill AI that if you do that then Photoshop can use your images and I will show you where that is. It's right here in the terms and conditions for I'll pull all the way up Adobe Creative Cloud generative AI beta additional terms. It's section 4.1 Firefly Gallery. And it says if you submit output which is so when you upload a photo and you in you basically it's input your photo is input and then you select something and hit generative fill that's inputting it into its system it's looking at that image assessing it and then it's suggesting either a background or something to add whatever you've chosen 
and giving you those variations to play with, those are the output. So if you make something with this new tool and you take that output, that finished image basically, it says if you submit it to the Firefly Gallery, which is a feature of Firefly Beta, you grant us non-exclusive, irrevocable, worldwide, royalty-free license, blah, 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 blah. The keywords here are if you submit output to the Firefly Gallery. So what that means is if I create a photo, and this is the output, the input was my original newborn image of a client. If I take this output and I submit it to the Firefly Gallery, then they can use it. But me just simply using this tool and trialing this new tool and this new software does not grant them that access, which is what people are saying on the internet. And I just got off the phone with Adobe. I've got screenshots to prove it. Um, I will share those as well. Um, and I will go in and show you exactly how you submit those photos and give Adobe license to use your photos. So you have to go to firefly.adobe.com, generative fill, upload an image, and then you would pick whatever image. And then three dots and then hit publish. And then when you hit publish, then it still gives you like a, hey, are you sure? Here are the terms. A whole little thing here, which I will pull up for you. See, it's like a, you know, and it even says that it'll give you credentials con or content credentials. Um, but you still have another step where you have to go in and hit continue. So again, just playing with photos in a Photoshop beta is not granting Adobe irrevocable lifetime rights to use your photos. What it sounds like Firefly Gallery is going to be is just that. It's going to be a gallery of images where people can go and look at all the cool different things that people have created with this new tool. So I hope this helps you guys. Um, I hope it helps clear up some of that information. And just to go back to our discussion earlier about stock, um, this is Adobe stock. It has been around for um, since season 2005. So quite a while, guys. It's not anything new. Um, your photos that you're making in Photoshop beta right now are not automatically being added to Adobe stock. And Adobe is not sourcing its generative fill from the whole internet like Midjourney and Dolly. It's just pulling it from Adobe stock. They have actually already purchased these images from photographers and those photographers have already been compensated. Um, so you're not stealing anything or anything like that. Um, so I'm excited about all the new conversations this is going to bring about. I'm excited for these new tools. Um, I think we're going to be able to create a lot of really neat stuff. Um, and there's going to be a lot of things changing in our industry, um, but I don't think that us as professionals are really going anywhere. It's just a new tool for us to use. Um, to quote some guy on Reddit, generative fill is just a tool. AI is just a tool. So these things will not replace you unless you are a tool, which is um, bad news for all of our ex-boyfriends, but not for us as professional photographers. So enjoy, play with Photoshop beta and share everything that you guys are making, your awesome art and your hilarious fails. Feel free to share them in my group, Profitable Non-IPS Photographers and the Professional Baby Holders. Um, you can go ahead and hop in there and see my tutorial. Um, it's just a quick one on how I created an image and um, we can share in there. I just ask that you follow the rules that if you do share those photos in there, you do have to state that they were created with AI and share your source image. Thanks guys. Have a great day.